Hi guys, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia and I hope you're having a fantastic day. We're back with another letter of the alphabet. Today's letter, the letter O. O is for overtones, right? When we play the trumpet, we want to produce a lot of overtones. This is how we get a nice, bright, resonant sound. A little trick that I use to help me practice my overtones is through the use of an app called Tonal Energy. This is a fantastic app. It is available on Android and on iPhone. It's also available on your iPad or tablet. So I'm going to be filming my tablet as I'm playing this so I can show you guys what to actually look for when you're practicing your overtones and wanting to improve your sound through overtones. Overtones are the sounds or the notes that are produced above the note that we're actually playing. Now this happens quite a lot. In fact, you want it to be happening all the time. You want your sound to have a lot of overtones in it and that way, that's what people call a nice bright sound. So, little way that we can help work on it is by opening up the Tonal Energy app, right? You can get it from the App Store or Google Play on your Android device or your iPhone device. It's all there. And it's a few dollars, but it's the most value for money app I have ever bought, right? So go and buy it if you are wanting to improve your playing. From there, you want to go to the analysis page. On the analysis page, you select the sound wave or the spectral section, right? And you can zoom in on that and that'll light make it nice and big as you're gonna see on my tablet here. So first off, we're just gonna start with a nice comfortable G. Look at the fundamental pitch and look at where the other notches are as they go up. A nice bright sound, or your best sound, should have lots of notches quite high up, and you see them quite definitively. So now we're going to play that same G, and we're going to sag on the note, and we're going to try and remove those overtones, and listen to the sound quality there. You will notice from sagging on the note that the overtones start to diminish and they're not as obvious. Now, you can also notice that the sound quality isn't as good. That's why we want to play with lots of overtones. You can hear it in the sound quality, but if you want a little test, go and use this app, the analysis page of the Tonal Energy app, play a few long tones, play a few scales, right? And look for those overtones. A good little exercise that I like to do is play octaves. Because an octave, you will see the notch very clearly where you need to go before it. If you also try and make it that before you jump the octave, that you can hear the pitch in the overtones before you move, that's also really, really good. You want, so you try and hear the note you're going to in your harmonic series before you get there. <laughs> By doing this, you'll also notice that all of the other frequencies, the, the overtones above that, also ring out nice and strong and you're playing with a really awesome sound. You'll actually notice it's the best sound you'll produce.
Give this a go at home. Spend a couple of minutes, not too long, just a minute or two every day for a couple of weeks and you'll notice a big difference or a big improvement in the quality of sound that you're producing. You'll also notice that your intonation gets a lot better as well. If you want to know more about how to play trumpet, head over to my website, www.philoneal.com. I have some really nifty things there that you will enjoy to help you get better at playing trumpet. As always, remember to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. I've got double tonguing videos here, I've got range videos here, and I've got some performances which I'll leave just here. As always, I'm Phil O'Neill from Australia, and happy practicing.